Statele. Do you expect uh, that event could really change what is Russia now? <laughs> well, actually, I, I doubt that uh, individual events may be a major factor for changes. But I believe in, in uh, work step by step and uh, giving floor to people to, to speak, to present ideas, to brainstorm, to absorb new ideas is very important. Well, in my speech I, I, I told clearly what I state every time here in the European Parliament and in my Polish national uh, media that uh, a matter of utmost importance for the whole world but surely for our broad region is uh, for Ukraine to win this this war of aggression we have to uh, obtain uh, the, the sufficient support both uh, in terms of, of uh, uh, military uh, equipment and and in of finances for Ukraine to 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 maintain this war and win this war for Ukraine and Ukrainian people to survive because it is important also to tend to to refugees for future of their children it is enormous work itself logistic as well. And my honest uh, knowledge of, of uh, um, dynamics of political processes, and I, I, I had uh, this also in Poland some time ago when the system used to collapse and we started to, to build uh, uh, simply a new, new country, renewing it, and it was after quite a long time of, of uh, uh, subordination of, of elites to, to the Soviet Union, although we were uh, independent formally. So this knowledge is there. I'm sure that our de after defeat uh, uh, processes are to start within Russian Federation and further freeing of people that are so willing, aspiring for their independence, like uh, uh, you heard uh, Ahmed Zakayev speaking about uh, aspirations of Chechens, uh, or, or uh, Fatima Tlis uh, about Circassians. Uh, of course, they are dispersed uh, all over the world. But we have to remember that so many nations are, are now actually suffocating because of, of uh, Russian uh, violence, Russian, Russian uh, threat posed on those people. Look on, on uh, Belarus, how, how vast part of society protesting uh, the war, protesting imposed uh, presidency and imposed regime. Uh, I think much is to happen after uh, weakening of, of Russian regime. Do you share the concern of uh, many European politicians that if Russia will break down, it will appear some kind of uh, absolutely uncontrolled new states with um, their nuclear weapons, uh, technologies, disasters, and so on and so forth. Um, it's always fear of unknown, but known is so vicious that that you have to 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 work to 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 build better future. Simply, of course, I'm I'm not naive, and I know uh, that probably many problems and and enormous problems arise. Usually, the world is afraid of destabilization, but uh, my actually 
uh, my message for decades to international community was already that uh, uh, regime in Kremlin, in contemporary Russian Federation, is a real threat for uh, for for freedom for for international world. Actually, it was too much uh, uh, will to engage with this regime virtually to support it by 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 uh, pretending it being uh, the, the the genuine actor on, on the international political scene while imperial policies always there starting from from Georgia then to Crimea then to a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. I would mention also many other things, many nations oppressed. Usually my Polish experience is you should not be afraid of freedom. So far as I understand, we are observing the end of the Russian Empire now. Do you believe that that process could be in Russia? Russia? Could be somehow peaceful or violence is inevitable? Well, I do, do not think violence is inevitable. Look, uh, after a collapse of the Soviet Union, of course there were local wars as well, and still are. But generally speaking, uh, emerging of, of uh, independent states was considerably peaceful, of course, with uh, under uh, monitoring control, some, ki some kind of influence of international community as well. But I'm sure that people do not wish uh, war. They, they are fed up with war. They manifested it also in terms of war in Ukraine. Belarusians do not wish to, to engage in this war. Also, many nations of Russia look, um, well, even with Putin trying somehow to, to, to differentiate between, let's say, uh, Bashkirs or, or Buryats or others or, or um, uh, cit uh, citizens from Tatarstan and uh, uh, people living in Moscow or St. Petersburg. There is one to three hundred if we compare victims of this war of war of uh, Moscow and 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 other regions. So it, it is uh, a lot to, to, to be discussed. I'm sure people do not wish war. They will do whatever they, they can to, to preserve peace. And truly the world is also willing to, to preserve peace. Uh, uh, we cannot exclude uh, violent uh, developments as well, but even now, in peaceful times, there is a lot of violence and look on genocide happening nowadays in Ukraine. Let's hope for the best and thank you very much.